In a once beautiful land, not so far away, there lived a wise and noble elephant named the Last Trumpet. He was strong and respected among the animals of the kingdom, known for his leadership and bravery. However, as time passed, the Last Trumpet became increasingly consumed by his own pride and ambition, forgetting the humble beginnings that had once guided him. One day, a cunning donkey wandered into his kingdom. This donkey, known as Kumala, the wealthy heiress, was clever and charming, but she carried with her a spirit of manipulation and deceit. She sought to gain power and influence over the animals. She quickly recognized the last trumpet's vulnerabilities. Kumala approached the last trumpet with flattery, praising his strength and wisdom. Oh, yeah. great elephant, she said. You are the mightiest of all creatures. Why not rule with an iron foot? You could have all the animals bowing before you if you only embraced your true power. The last trumpet, flattered by her words, began to listen to Kumala. He allowed her to whisper in his ear, leading him to make decisions that favored his own desires rather than the well-being of the kingdom. Under her influence, the last trumpet grew more tyrannical and the harmony of the kingdom began to fade. The other animals, sensing the change in the last trumpet, grew fearful. They remembered the days when the last trumpet, the elephant, was guided by wisdom and humility. They gathered together to discuss the troubling influence of Kumala the donkey. We must remind the last trumpet of the values that once made him a great leader, said a wise old owl. He must see the truth behind the donkey's charm and beguilement. The animals devised a plan. They would hold a gathering in the heart of the kingdom, inviting the last trumpet and Kumala to attend. As the sun set, the animals gathered, and the air was filled with a sense of hope and determination. When the last trumpet arrived, he was met with cheers and applause. But the animals soon turned their attention to Kumala. The wise old owl spoke up. Oh, great elephant, we honor you. We must also speak the truth. This donkey, through charming, seeks to lead you astray. Her spirit is one of division, deceit, and dismay. Kumala, sensing the shift in the atmosphere, tried to defend herself. Yeah. I only wish to help our great leader. Why should you question my intentions? She explains, her voice dripping with false innocence and pretense. But the animal stood firm. We have seen the changes in you, last trumpet. You have strayed from the path of righteousness. Remember the strength that comes from unity and humility, not from pride and exaggeration. The last trumpet, realizing the truth in their words, felt a heavy weight lift from his heart. He looked at Kumala and saw her for what she truly was, a spirit that sought to divide and conquer. With newfound clarity, he addressed the gathering. I have allowed myself to be led astray. I will cast aside the influence of this donkey and return to the values that unite us all. With that declaration, the animals cheered and Kumala, realizing her hold over the last trumpet was broken, slinked away into the shadows. Her power diminished. From that day forward, the last trumpet ruled with wisdom and humility, guided by the voices of his fellow creatures. The kingdom flourished once again, united in purpose and strength, and the tale of the donkey and the elephants became a lesson for generations, a reminder of the importance of discernment and the strength found in unity. What is the moral of the story? True leadership is rooted in humility and the willingness to listen to the voices of those we serve. 
for the spirit of manipulation can lead even the strongest astray. Will you choose Kumala, the donkey, or the last trumpet, the elephant? Choose wisely, or the choice will be made for you, and you will severely suffer the consequences for being apathetic. When the Creator called you to choose, you were unwilling to take a stand for freedom, liberty, and justice, but instead you welcomed the Jezebel spirit to be released into the entire world per the book of Revelation. Spread the word, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to receive the next spiritual message.